So, I'm back all the way over here again. Uh, yeah, if you didn't already gather it from common sense and the description saying so, uh, pretty much all that happened in the last segment is now... Uh, I hate to use the term non-canon because that's stupid sounding, but... Uh, yeah, it basically didn't happen. Don't have the wave beam anymore. And I think that's the only thing that I did. I didn't pick up the screw attack or anything. So, anyway, uh, here we've got a little mini-boss. It has a name, but I am not sure what it is, so I'm just going to call it the Spore Spawn, because it's very similar to it. And, uh, still not used to my control setup. Great. It's really nice to know that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Because I'm going to need to know starting next segment. Up until now, I've been able to just sort of cruise through this all, but it's actually going to start getting difficult. Sort of. There's still patterns to be exploited. And this is not wanting to give me any energy. Uh, do I still need to hit anything over there? Yeah, I do. And I need to hit it even more. Sure is nice of bosses to have a constantly replenish replenishable source of energy and missiles. Got hit there. Okay, that side's down. Then let's get this side. Uh, you could just do this all by wall jumping, but it's way more annoying that way. So, yeah, not doing that. Freezing the Ripper is also annoying in its own way, but at least it's slightly more reliable. Anyway, uh, I kind of showed off these, like, the the big maggot thing, like, in the hallway after the wave beam, except for it was also before the wave beam shut up. Uh, this is another one of those. I think there's just three of them in the game that I recall, and then this is just the last one that you're supposed to fight. The other ones are a lot easier than this one is. So anyway, it falls down, and that's about it. Got the two heads, of course. And... Hello? I actually never really realized the stupidity of this, that, uh... Well, I'll wait for it, but... Large purple ship of doom arrives. Very threatening in its purple color. Yeah, Ridley wasn't here until I got here. So I'm not sure how he gets in. Anyway, uh... This, this area, uh, in the NES version, I went left, and I'm going to start by going left here, but I can't really progress because there's a green door, which you need a super missile to open up here. Uh, there's that bug I just fought. So you're supposed to leave and then go up and fight that bug again. It actually comes out of the cocoon, and you have to beat it. It's like a giant fly and then you get the super missile, but there is another way you can go, which is way easier and less time consuming, and I just missed. Yeah, you have to shoot a missile up at this, and then, uh, you don't have to get the super missiles at all, but I'm going to be getting one anyway because I need some sort of last item for my 10% run, and that's the one that I'm going with. And let's hopefully not die from these things, because they do a lot of damage. And that was a very lucky freeze. I, I should just use my two missiles when I need them, but I always like, forget to, or don't want to. I believe there was a missile up there. I don't really feel like showing it. And uh, in this room, there's actually... well, not in here. This room, I... I think that might be the one I have to go in, actually. So, yeah, I'm gonna go in this one. Uh, the one I was just in, though, there's little secret hallways to the right that you can only access with the speed booster, and since there's nowhere to get up a good amount of running distance, you have to carry a Shine Spark from a different room, and it's surprisingly complicated. Fusion had a lot of dick moves like that, a lot of stuff was hidden in really weird ways that required shine sparking. This one has a few of those, and this is a 
one of them, so it's probably the most noteworthy case of one. Okay, um, way too many enemies here. And then, yeah, this is where I need to be. Uh, don't really feel like freeing those things, I'm hurting myself, obviously. Uh, Actually, I'm kind of confused. I thought there was a super missile up there, and I should want to get that, but I don't... I know that there's usually a different one that I get. So let me see what is up here. Oh, yeah, you need a super missile to get through that. Never mind. Okay, so I'm stuck with this room. So I'm gonna make a save state, because there's a good chance that I will screw this up. Uh... Shit. That was not what I meant to do at all. I, I might... might maybe be able to pull that off. Um... Oh, okay, good thing I saved it. Uh... Yeah, getting over that thing without touching it is kind of mean. Oh, there you go. Wasn't that bad, I guess. And we've got more Desgigas. Never can have enough of those. I keep thinking they're going to shoot spikes out of their knees or something, because they do that weird roaring face. I'm not sure if they actually do or not, though. And there is my super missile. If I just got a regular one, this would be very similar to a hard mode playthrough, because I'd just have four missiles instead of... I mean, a normal mode, I'd have four missiles instead of five. But I'm going with the super missile because I'm more confident with that. A couple missiles in here, not hard at all to get. They really throw a lot at you right here. I mean, geez, there's the super missile here, then there's one, two, three, plus the one in here, or the room after this. I forgot this room existed. Uh, not a whole lot happening in this segment. I. Yeah, I, I don't want to go any further, either, so... Falling down, and, uh... Save room, I'll be making use of this, because I don't want to be save-stating in the Ridley boss fight. I'm only save-stating for annoying jumps. Because those are, like... Eh, it's not really any different. I just feel better doing it that way. I, I don't know why. out. I could just use the super missile to kill it, but I... I've had to fight this guy on the actual console a lot of times, and I'm used to doing it this way. Yeah, that's where Ridley is, and I guess he isn't here yet. Instead, we have to get unknown item number three, which is some sort of a nuclear pile. And over here is an energy tank, and right here is a healing spot that I don't need. And I wonder where Ridley could be. Well, I'm certainly not going to turn around, so I guess we won't find out until next time. See you then.